سيداتي وسادتي Ladies and gentlemen, peace be upon you. From Baghdad, the capital of steadfastness and resistance, we present you with the broadcast, news broadcast. The National Council reject the losing ultimatum by President Bush and prepare the Iraqis to face the attack. Mohammed Saeed al Sahaf, the Ministry of Information, repeat that Iraq's land will be grave for the invaders. Angry world reaction against America and its position against the world community. Demonstrations in New York and Sydney about Iraq. The occupying forces of Israel infiltrate Absan village and the Palestinian Authority is asking the world community to stop the Zionists. Peace be upon you and upon Iraq, dear audience. The representatives of the Iraqi people rejected the losing ultimatum from young Bush in exceptional meeting headed by Dr. Sadun Hamadi. They issued statements uh, repeated in it uh, that the Iraqi people are willing and capable uh, in defending themselves and uh, Iraq will be the stone on which all invaders will be broken. Saddam Hussein is the leader of Iraq and he is the son of the people. He is the defender of the great morals and values. He is the leader of struggle. With these words, they started the meeting of the National Council who represent the Iraqi people to say their words uh, while the attackers such as America and Britain and their followers are continuing in their attacks against Iraq. We are meeting today to say the word of truth and to express about uh, express the our people's position in Iraq and the position of the people of the Arab world and Muslims and the freedom fighters all over the world from this podium we reject we condemn this arrogance and this attack and disregarding the laws of heaven and earth in dealing with other people. All the members expressed their feelings in staying as one line and one gun against the attack against Muslims and Arabs and controlling oil to protect the American interests. A statement was read from the council uh, asking the people to stand against evil. All oh, you Iraqi people, this is your destiny. This is your history, full of heroism and glory. To break down the nose of evil and bring it down to the mud and defeat them. After you given example after example of courage and heroism defending your holy country and supporting your leader the Mujahid President Saddam Hussein the all the members of the council expressed their support to the president from the north of Iraq to the south of Iraq. 
Also, Dr. Saadun Hamadi, the head of the President of the National Council, told the reporters after the meeting that the Iraqi people is ready and uh, organized with one word and they will fight the attackers, the evil attackers, to defend their dignity. The people of Iraq is ready organized with one word with all their capabilities will fight the invasion and the attacks and uh, will defeat it will make a great example to Arabs and the world how a country can defend their independence and dignity because it's a uh, 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 people of Iraq are faithful and defending the truth. Mohammed al sahaf the information minister, uh, mentioned that the uh, American administration asked the soldiers to tell their families not to mention if they, in case if they die during the attack against Iraq. He also added that the American administration uh, is cheating the soldier when they tell them it's going to be like a picnic uh, attacking Iraq. The American administration and the American officials as expected became a propaganda machine and they start to make several mistakes and this is also is expected we would like to direct your attention that it seems that they are taking written statements from the soldiers especially the Green Berets if they die or killed during the attack and invasion that the families will not mention that uh, or declare it and we're studying this now on how we will be dealing with uh, this situation are they going to bury them in mass graves? We are trying to study it because they are pushing their soldiers uh, to destruction. Um, what are we going to do with the names and the pictures and things like that? Because, of course, if they push them to this foolishness, they will be killed on the land of Iraq. We also noticed that uh, uh, how are we going to describe these people? Um, are they uh, considered... Uh, we need to study that. Are they considered uh, mercenaries? How are we going to uh, look upon them uh, from the legal point of view? Because according to the international laws and the UN Charter, we cannot call them uh, in a condition of war. This is an attack, and it's, not, it's even less than an attack uh, compared with what they want to do. Therefore, really, there is a lot of uh, uh, people now studying what uh, can we classify, are they merc uh, mercenaries, uh, what kind of laws we will apply. We'll, uh, we're looking into that, especially that uh, that uh, the claims are uncovered now that they used in the past especially that some of their friends uncovered them now they are trying to tell their uh, soldiers poor soldiers they're trying to cheat them and hide the truth tell them that uh, attacking Iraq is a picnic while they are pushing them to their death. We are asking the American soldiers and officers to be careful of this cheating 
by the American administration and their criminals. They will use them and cheat them and lie to them. And they're not going to tell them what's waiting for them, what's their destiny in when they push them to attack Iraq. I'm telling you a true story to tell you how much they lie to their officers and soldiers and cheat them when they tell them that attacking Iraq is a picnic. One of the closest friends of the United States is the, prime, the previous Prime Minister of Turkey, Mrs. Chiller. She mentioned long ago that she visited George Bush the father in his house in Texas and he was with his wife and she asked him why didn't you push your army in 1991 to invade Iraq and uh, go to Baghdad he told her George Bush the father the father of this current president he said uh, we will be crazy because we will be throw th throwing them in a pit of fire therefore and because of that we stop the war now the criminals in the American administration, current American administration, are hiding these facts from their officers and their soldiers, and they're cheating them by telling them that attacking Iraq is a picnic. We are telling the Americans and soldiers, American soldiers in Kuwait, and wherever they are, open their eyes and be careful to the cheating and the lies of the American administration and those who will commit the atrocities of attacking Iraq will be met with what they deserve of force and if you don't know to American and the soldiers and officers you need to know that the attack against people will not pass easily and attacking Iraq will not pass easily but it will fail and death is uh, what will hit them if they participate in this attack this is uh, these lies are uncovered and we will treat you the uh, media in a transparent way to see the truth and the facts and to see how we will face any attack uh, committed by any fool. Dr. Naji Sabri, the foreign minister, sent a message to Kofi Annan, uh, stated, Your Excellency Kofi Annan, the Secretary General of the United Nations, I would like to direct your attention to the failure of the evil American administration to pass the resolution of aggression in the Security Council and obtaining an international cover for the intended attack against Iraq. Not only the Security Council rejected these plans, but the whole world community rejected any evil aggressions against the people of Iraq and to cover up their failure they pressured the general secretariat of the United Nations to withdraw their employees from Iraq claiming the need to protect them in case of war against Iraq the United Nations should have told the American administration that these plans are illegal and it endangers the lives of 26 million Iraqi and 1,500 international workers who are working in Iraq to danger and to ask the Security Council to condemn this aggression because it defies the rules uh, and the laws of the United Nations. To accept withdrawing their employees, the United Nations has defied its own charter and laws and defies the whole world's community at the same time. As a result of your decision, all the United Nations activities in Iraq is suspended uh, today, the 17th of this month. 
the color of the current month 2003 without any legitimate cause the united nation withdraw the uh, unicom forces from the demilitarized zone uh, between iraq and uh, kuwait in charge of monitoring the two countries according to the articles uh, and the resolution of five uh, article 5 of 687 of 1991 the job of these forces is to monitor any aggressions or possible violations from any country uh, from any of these two countries this step will facilitate any future aggression against iraq by the evil American administration from Kuwait. The United States pressured the General Council to withdraw their employees from the other UN programs in Iraq, such as the Food for Oil program since the 17th uh, of this month. This program halted the deliveries of all essential humanitarian uh, food and supplies to the Iraqi people, increasing further the suffering that was resulting, that is resulted of the past and the future attacks and embargoes against Iraq. Halting this humanitarian program means depriving the Iraqi people from food, medicine, and other essential materials which is bought by our own money in the first place. It will also suspend the $10 billion of Iraqi money uh, because of your decision to withdraw your employee in violation of Security Council Resolution 986 in 1995 and the Memo of Understanding between Iraq and the UN in 1996. Also, the employees of MOVIC and IAEA uh, have left Iraq despite their progress uh, and the success they have during the last three and a half months which proved uh, the American and British lies regarding weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Uh, the presence of the inspectors team in Iraq became a heavy burden on the US and Britain because it uncovered the fraudulent documents and lies. Removing the inspectors team out of Iraq is a clear violation of the UN resolution 1441 in 2002 and the resolution 1284 of 1999 and 687 of 1991 and other related resolutions. Your decision to suspend all articles in this of this resolution including ending the boycotts against Iraq and the complete destruction of uh, 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 of any weapons of mass destruction uh, in the Middle East uh, in the forefront uh, the ones in Israel also the United Nations suspended all other programs in Iraq uh, such as programs of education uh, and health and uh, other types of programs such as relief organizations and environment protection. Your decision is also violates the article number nine uh, of the United Nations Charter and also article 55 of the Charter which call for international cooperation to better standards of living and improving economic and social development. Finally, these steps taken by the General Secretary under the pressure of the United States violate the basic principles of the United Nations in preventing aggression in the world's community and the good relation between the different countries and for social and economic development 
in the world. Also, it goes against the will of the majority of the world nation expressed in their desire to continue the inspection in Iraq. These decisions allow the United Nations to become a follower of uh, the American plans rejected by the Security Council and rejected by the vast majority of the world countries. The UN is sinking deeper and deeper in the moral dilemma uh, that started 13 years ago when they uh, started unprecedented embargo like no other in history uh, in its severity and harshness against uh, the UN Charter and the International Human Rights. We would like for the United Nations to take the responsibility seriously according to the Charter and return the employees of uh, uh, her employees to Iraq and to hold the U.S. responsible of any threat against those employees while in Iraq. Uh, we hope that the UN uh, and the members are uh, to condemn uh, this American aggression uh, along with all the members of the United Nations in their failure on obtaining cover for their aggression. Please accept uh, my respect, uh, Dr. Nagy Sabri, Foreign Minister of Iraq, March 18, 2003. President Muammar Qaddafi said during his visit in Mali in Africa that the true terrorism is the international sanctions against Iraq in, in mentioning of the UN sanctions against Iraq.